This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd 
arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. And something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him, he's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha, look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco a local businessman, built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. <laughs> Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. <laughs> It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both, but before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Nice work. Hey, you need a hand? No, you. Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. 
Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. What? 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 Rodrigo! You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Stay right here. It's okay. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Ah, me ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância! Vamos! Me ajuda! Puta que pariu! Fuck! Meu Deus do céu! Você fez bem, Max! Você diz isso. Não olhe tão bem. Ei, o que seria melhor, hein? Os bons homens estão reunidos e os comandos sombra estão mortos. Eu acho. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. A different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. 
<laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can <laughs> someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. You act cool with me? What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me and me, <laughs> guy. Oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think. I think I love our own woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my nigga! <laughs> Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one.
The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Hey, Sao Paulo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the him. girls. Got him. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. We can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Be pushing forward. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday of the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? You can't just leave her. Max, you're gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there. goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco's security team consisted of more than a drunk American has-been and a Brazilian never-was who should have paid more attention in flying school. They... Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What, do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Assos. Where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God. It's Raul. Giovanna! No! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. <coughs> hey. No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too.
choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters. Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. I have no idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone. Then I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. God damn it! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, man, let's go! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on, I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go. <sighs> Hold on. Wait here a second. All the fun. <laughs> you see there, Grandpa?
Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. <clears throat> you okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on. Come on. Uh, All right. Don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Huh. Anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Puta. Caralho, mano, não faço ideia, foi uma cilada, cara. Nós precisamos sair daqui, vamos vazar, vamos, vamos. Onde é essa aí? Come on, come on. Eu sabia que essa porra ia dar merda. Quem foi o filho da puta? So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. It didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. They seem nice enough. Are they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! A little late to be giving him his last rights, don't you think? Look at this flakjack. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it. That guy was getting annoying. How the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here. Cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your headset on. Look, I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the other. 
Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I'm guessing nowhere nice. Any sign of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. They're up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this wait, section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? Shit. Gang, I'm ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I'm making a run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me. I'm clear, Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <sighs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. Ah, God damn it! Max! Shit! Now I got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right wing guns for higher ex cops military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. <laughs> Jesus, they shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I got the best. 
I know. You know how to make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out man, here, old man. It's a nice echo. You gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap it up. funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Huh? Hey, don't, you, don't take that from this punk toy. I ain't taking nothing from him. God Not hasn't already deprived him. But I'm a star any time. Now say you're Get sorry. You say fucking you're sorry. Been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away sorry, from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop card. Don't act clever. Yeah, I will blow your look brains look all, all over this counter this every fucking way. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Oh, what the fuck what is the this? Hell? Put the gun oh. down now. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before one of you get shot. I got you. Who the see. fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. Get you, motherfucker. I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay what right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You, you don't remember, remember me? me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homosage. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, oh, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah, keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. 
Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm full. Soldier. Soldier. Cheers. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. What you Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, Scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street, all right? Family, more than once. Yeah, I know. So leave, start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. Yo, I went on the roof. You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Back yeah, that Back looks about right. You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Oh, you're not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Drug! Hey, you're fucking dead! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Land's in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. All right, guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? 
I heard something. Up there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? No, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Need some help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. You looked like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. Come on. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Oh, oh shit, it's gone. Are you around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh, Want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Clashapret. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed that little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Uh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. Let's hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey, Max, you quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere.
que eu sempre fico com a parte de mim. Já te falei pra tu parar de reclamar fazendo o trabalho, mano. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. Confident jump of going into the jungle alone. Hey, hey, that's them. We're back. Nice job. I'm sure they missed us. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It's close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't 
think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. What is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Eles estão aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating, embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better, for all of us, hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter, this way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, Senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, Senor Branco. So many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. 
Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tenho uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bad cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. Got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <gasps> Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. Hey, the server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Cracha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Hey, we're good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes, make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless, but I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey, I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here, hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Come on, move. You gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Uh, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? 
Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make... Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. I didn't know what the hell I was gonna find up there, but I sensed it wasn't gonna be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey, 
Hey. Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you. Because of what you did to us. You killed so many of us. What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in a half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? What? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? I don't want to sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. I was a mess. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. Man, you killed him, Boha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow. Like rich fools the world over. 
I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É <laughs> isso. Jesus. At least I had found myself a tour guide. Hurry, mister! Party! Vamos, vamos logo! The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing, walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> What do you need, guys? What do you need? What are you doing here? I'm asking you. I called you here, fool! Easy, pal. Easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Anda logo. Logo! Da puta! Valeu, mano! Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança! Agora não, fora daqui! All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce, and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Olha, ele tá meio sexy, né? O que 
Você faria se você tivesse com ele? Cara, vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. Vamos lá. Vai, vai, vai. Aí, boa. Joga. Aí, toca pra sabedoria. Se tivesse uma coisa que eu aprendi desde que eu estive aqui, foi que os brasileiros vieram da cabeça e se caíram a bola. E para crianças como essas, foi que eles tinham uma legal chance de sair daqui. Tá louco. Tá louco. Sabe jogar palitinho, rapaz? Mostra. Pô, oh, que isso? É a coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra. Você escolhe uns três palitinhos. Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, uh, estou? Tá no lugar errado, rapaz. Ah, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, hein? Well, they weren't going to help me, and who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me ah, dead. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids to bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone. Vai, lá no fundo, ó. Segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, you won't have to try to dry out a bit, it's so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele, um choco pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Sil. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Bronco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. Yep. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen 
this guy. Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. We had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck! I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, Green! What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Back up, back up, back! É o gringo. Ah, não sei. Tô vendo porra nenhuma. A gente desce ou não? Foda-se! Isso aí... Isso aí já era, não vale a pena não. É certo. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. These bastards looked different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. Hmm. I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade.
That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. I had to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you? Okay. Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me, Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. I knew I shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. I got that feeling too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's any left to identify the body switch. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. Hey, come on. Hey, wake up. Let's go. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who whacked them? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look, we all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right, fair. That's all. I look like a fucking socialist to you, An aid worker? We'll work it out together. Okay? Look, cuz, how long we been no doing this? I'm not giving no handouts. I'm not asking for a handout. We're out here nah, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up, whatever. Stop shut up. There he is! is! Right? Joe, just Joe, look, just Joe, look. Joe, 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 Joe. Oh. Look, man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me to be cool. You Max Payne? Who? Hmm? Very fucking funny. Whatever. You're Max Payne. I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man. Give yourself up, and the might have a change of conscience, huh? Look at 
might grant you one last reprieve me. Ain't no reprieve me gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is. You breathe, man. Just here? breathe. What the hell is going on here? Don't worry about it. Just get out of here, okay? It sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor bastard, now. quite literally, on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! Shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what, disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half-cast! Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey! Take it easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! <sighs> Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spick! You killed my son! Dig! No! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I of all people knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Nobody ain't gonna bury itself. Dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Grave Digger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! Oh. Oh. Stop. Where are you going? I die! You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, follow me. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on, go, go, go! You can go first. Yeah, fine, gentlemen, thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Okay, 
find that phone. Make a call. Hey, there's got to be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Let me just call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Uh, things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mom out of us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again halfway down the world and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your Fucking language! Seu gringo de merda, cala a boca, seu gringo! That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. Uh, 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 I ain't quite as dumb uh, as I see. Uh, 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 It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub, the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. I'd heard about these raids. Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. 
nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? The alley was a dead end in more ways than one. I needed to find a way out of there. It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was. Some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was gonna get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! You bastard. Oh. 
Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's a legendary gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's believing you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Como você morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passos said there's a good place to hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. <laughs> So pregnant. You gotta be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse and procure por toda parte. You okay? Yeah. Here, quick. Climb under here. Uh, Open the gate from the other side. Quick! Uh, uh, stay right here while I check it out. Make sure you stay out of sight. I can't do this! Oh my god. Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. 
Need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. Right. Oh. <clears throat> Got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Another. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! Oh, no, get down! Next room? Yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. I was getting good at this. Something. Look about the mud, 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 Our day had started with us hiding in filth, and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for fossils? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Come on. Get your leg up. Right. You got it? Open the door. Of course I haven't. You ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's driver shoot, sister. Right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas. 
drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. <laughs> Try to keep us straight. Yeah, I see it. building and get the passes. Tell them to wait for me. Now go. Jump. Go. just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I know. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things that got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Max. Come on. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. 
this seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, son, nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Nasty! Ah, come here, I love oh, this one. Marcello, you're going to be the death of me? <laughs> Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey Saud! Saud! Oh. Oh, I gotta quit drinking so much. I'll give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the yayo, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. Not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? Uh, I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead, lay off the yayo, hey? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, ta bon, ta bon, but have him smile a bit more, you know? Because life, life is good! <laughs> Where's the truck? It's coming, eh? Soon. Passos. Yeah. I gotta go my down. Okay. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. Shh. Okay. Shh. 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 Shh.
¡Está ahí! Fire was sucking oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine. But it didn't make much difference. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. I spotted Passos and Marcello. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. You knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. Come on! We're gonna get her! Let's get her! Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I didn't think things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? I guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't think too much about it, but yes, 
Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How he goes rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You want to do some good? Hmm? You want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence. But I'd written off too many of those already.
The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Passos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now I just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. <laughs> For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes.
That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Neves! What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, you're... Powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy. I told you the city was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kinda like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> Nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen. Just now, c come with me, Max. To Brazil. Be a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss his brother's hatching. To profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. And hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I. Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you know? you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I... I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. 
Maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Trying to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. Uh, it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Kevin Parelli. Ah! Convidado nosso, quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocentes! Por que é que você vai fazer isso? Você tem que uma aqui! Eu não sei o que você vai acontecer, caralho! Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você veio? Ah! Fazendo aqui, what are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing you here? Doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. The 
last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more presently, it seemed I was too. That kid had had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then... It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. If there was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. This was a waste of time. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. Pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. Beleza, rapaziada, bom trabalho. Só tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar morto. Da puta, pelo amor de Deus! Hey, you Americans love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be?
This was the pass key to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor. I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work, for my family, and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Casha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. Thomas, you feel the poop! They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey. Hey. Para de ahí. My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. And we were off. I felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! It didn't work out like that. Missed out on the joke, and it was a real good one. Come on. Ah! Ow! It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. 
i'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me that's my style and it's too late in the day to hope for change boy were they throwing numbers at this problem but then i'd chosen to be here i wanted this was it redemption not really it was pathetic desperation and not much else The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! No! 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 almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. One card left to play. Just get me close. Whoa. That's them. Asshole. Your career's coming down with that plane. Let's get it over with. Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I walk. You'll walk with a lift. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
battalion of the city police's special forces unit who have been implicated in human trafficking has been disbanded indefinitely. Meanwhile, Victor Bronco, the politician at the center of the scandal, who is accused of laundering money from the scheme to fund his political campaign for mayor, was yesterday found hanged in his police cell. It's not yet clear whether his death was a suicide or simply retribution for his part in a scandal that has so many families missing loved ones that were kidnapped and killed. City officials say a full investigation Local is justice. underway.